Hi, this is Soulgazer. Today we'll be looking at some of the older stuff from Adidas. And this is Adidas Replica Nick Young. MSRP is $69.99. And I got this for about $35. So this is from Fanatics. It was on sale for $35. I was looking for Nick Young jersey. And I thought of getting the fast break, but this was cheaper, so I chose this. Let's take a look at it now. So for Adidas, I get L, so I got L for this too. And the rib knit stretched pretty well. Feels a little weak and cheap. But it does have two colors. I think there are two different yarn colors. And the extensions looks pretty long. This curb area, it's a little too long. The stitch should be a little bit higher up. Armhole rib doesn't have any white edge. And super wide shoulder. This is one of the main reasons I never owned this before. It should be around here, but it's way too wide. And I've seen these jersey around quite a bit, but I just can't get used to that with an embroidered Adidas logo here. I'm surprised they actually use embroidery for this um, lower end model. And the logo is print. You can see the vertical line. That's the grain of the print. And, but the print quality overall is not too bad. And the blue is just a base fabric color. And the thin line by the bridge is not printed as well, but it's not that big of a deal. But the letter looks pretty good. And you can see the tag here by the hem. Let's get to the back now. NBA logo is also embroidered. Lines from stitches are pretty visible. This is not bad. Name and numbers are print like the front. Same type of quality. So I'm not really going to go over as much. But overall it's not too bad. And other than that, back is pretty simple and straightforward. The side panel looks pretty wide. But they are separate pieces of fabric. And let's compare with fast break replicas. I'll be comparing with Fanatic fast break, which is similar to the replica line. And this is KD, the town jersey, MSRP is $69.99, which is the same price. Only difference is the this one is actually XL, and Adidas is large. So the size will be a little bit off because they are in different size. But we'll be looking more into the shape of it rather than just the size of the jersey. The first thing you can notice is fast break has wider neck opening, so it's looser on the neck, probably more comfortable, and extensions are a lot more connected. The fast break is a lot thinner with its rib. Adidas is closer to the swing mount. No logo for the fast break. As you can see, the armhole is completely different. The width of the shoulder is so different. I hate Adidas shoulder. 
and that's why I never owned one of these because I think it's so ugly was that with so fast break is a lot closer to the swingman class or authentic class um, shape Adidas didn't put center strip down the side panel but fast break did they did include the opening at the hem as well When I put fast break on top of the Adidas, you can see the difference in shape. You can see the shoulder difference and the armhole shape difference. Adidas goes lower and the width are a little different as well. But even with the size difference, it's not that much bigger. So here we go, it's about half inch to an inch bigger and fast break has extended hem on the back, slightly longer, but Adidas have the same length. Let's check their print quality. Adidas got smooth surface, but Fast break got some sticky surface. And only Adidas has this print grain. Fast break doesn't have that, it's pretty smooth, just a little sticky. But the quality of the print, they're about the same. And I think the fast break print stretches a little bit better than the adidas so these might last longer than these print because of its flexibility let's compare the fabric now so they're both different from swingman or authentic fabric they're completely different adidas doesn't have any grain and fast break has horizontal lines instead of vertical lines and it also doesn't have a perforation on both of them let's try them on so for adidas the fit is fine it's pretty loose although it's large but i do hate this shoulder part um, the width of the shoulder, it bothers me. It's way too long. I think the shape is not that good. But if it's fine, it's comfortable. I could move around with it. And most of all, the price was really good. Now let's take a look at the fast break. So this fabric is a little bit more softer. I think it's slightly lighter too. And flex pretty well. The opening is a little bit smaller than the Adidas. But I do like the shoulder better. And on the back, moves fine. And nice and long on the back. It does feel a little tighter on the body. But this is not bad either. So these are completely different from Swingman. Most of the changes are fine, but I just don't like the width of the shoulder. And I wore this a few times already, so I might customize this jersey to make it look more like Swingman or Authentic jersey in the near future. And that might be my first customized video for jerseys. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As well as pressing that like button. Appreciate your support. And see you next time. By the way, I ordered a couple more jerseys recently. So that should be coming in soon. 
and I'll be doing a review for those in the next week or so. So please look forward for that. Thank you.